The choice is yours. The Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy 30, verse 19, Today I have given you the choice between life and death, between blessings and cursings. Now I call on heaven and earth to witness the choice you make. Oh, that you would choose life so that you and your descendants might live. And the word of God speaks to us about choosing. The gospel gives us freedom to choose. God gives us freedom to choose. And the choice is really ours. And it's packed arguably with the most powerful punch placed in our circle of control. The choice is yours. Those words, it really does pack a punch. That we get to choose how we speak, how we act, how we respond each and every moment of the day. We always have a choice. And it is the wonderful freedom of the gospel, the authority of our identity and the grace that we have been afforded. We get to choose what favors Jesus. Sometimes we get caught up in justifying our actions by logic or cultural norm. However, we forget that Jesus did not seek to make sense. He came to save a watching world. He came to change it, to breathe life in it, and to show a new and better way. He came to redeem the world as the light entered the world. The light entered our world. We were never meant to walk in darkness. And Jesus says to us today, our Lord speaks and says, I came to destroy the devil's work to set you free, to give you a new life, following me and walking in the light. I came to give you peace and freedom from the chains of sin that held you in darkness. If you will continuously trust in me, my child, you can walk in my light in every area of your life. No matter what you're facing, even in your doubt, you can come to me and walk with me in the light. You have been given a path of life and I will light your way. Each step in faith is not grounded in blind faith, but in the hope I have given you through my resurrection. You can have true hope, real peace, when you continuously walk with me. You don't need to have fear you don't need to give in to doubt. You can seek the promises of the word and stand confidently firm in your faith that your heavenly father is faithful at all times and in all ways. My child, I am with you in the middle of every mess. When you're questioning the father's ways and struggling to move forward in your faith, I love you the same. In moments of despair, call upon the Spirit. Find your strength in Him. He is your helper in every way, a comforter when you're crumbling beneath the weight of pain and suffering in the darkest moments. My light comes to you in the way, in my way, to give you hope. For I am the light of the world. John 8, 12. How incredible it is that Jesus lives in us and we get to choose. We get to choose maybe a little more kindness and less apathy, maybe more courage and less fear, more grace and less judgment, more patience and less frustration, more gratitude, less entitlement, more confidence, 
less insecurity, more delight and less dread, more generosity and less selfishness, more peace and less worry, more humility and less pride, more focus and less distraction. It is always more of Jesus that changes the world and less of us. It is never about us. It is all about the creator of the world, the architect, the God who put a mantle in the, the skies and called each star by name. And he saves. May we commit to choosing more of him every single day. Job 23, 11 says, My feet have closely followed his steps. I have kept his way without turning aside. Psalm 16, 11 says, You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Matthew 7, 13, Even through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road, that leads to destruction and many enter it. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your son. Thank you for our savior, our redeemer. Thank you for the light that came into the world, my father, that came in to destroy the darkness, my God, for Jesus came to destroy the works of the enemy, my father. And I just thank you, Lord, Father God, for an amazing son, Father God, thank you for your amazing love and thank you for our Savior, our Redeemer, our Sanctifier. Thank you, O God, in the name of Jesus. My Lord God, you are a lover of truth and you are great by your very nature. All other greatness and virtue, virtue and goodness are your gifts to us. Have mercy on us, O oh God, in this proud heart that we have. Please impress upon us the truth of our nothingness, O oh God. Then at last we can become kind, considerate, and charitable to those around us. Grant us your grace, dear Lord, so that I may never again in thought or action, raise myself higher than anybody else. As I learn to decrease more and more each day so that you may increase my father. In gratitude for your many gifts, I will try to spread your goodness by being good to others. My father, it is a battle, Father God, with certain people, my father. But Lord, it is your, it is the power of your spirit living in us, my God. Thank you, O oh God. Thank you that we may choose life in every form of the word, my Father. Choose life, my God, in our thoughts, in our words, in our hearts. Choose life in the way that we treat others, the way that we speak, the way that we speak to others, my God. We choose life, my God, life-giving words, life-giving words that are seeds that once they're planted, Lord God, it is our choice, the type of fruit that that tree is going to yield, my God, my Father. I thank you, O God, for your teachings. I thank you for your precepts, your laws. I thank you, my God, for your holy word that is absolutely amazing your word will never return void my god for you are the author and the finisher of our faith thank you my father thank you my lord thank you for this channel thank you for every person father god that is listening to my voice i ask you to bless them lord god bless them with peace bless them father god with finances bless them with good health bless them my lord in every area of their lives with their families, Lord God. May they choose life in front of their children always. May they be strengthened, my God. May you fill them, Father God, with wisdom, my Father, that they will do and they will give great testimonies, my God, and they will be light, my God, for their children, my Father. 
for their children, their descendants, the seed, my God, that is blessed from their womb, my God, that you, Father God, have given them children and families, O oh God, and that that is the legacy that they're going to leave behind. Father, I ask you to bless them. I ask you to bless their families. I ask you to bless them, my Father, in their job. I ask you to bless them, my God, as they go in and as they go out. I ask you to bless them in the work of their hands, O oh God. I ask you to bless them, Lord God, with the peace that surpasses all understanding, my Father. My God, I ask you to bless them with an authentic Christianity, which is truly the only thing that is going to get us through, my Father. Knowing who we serve, knowing who we are, loving others as we love ourselves. Thank you, my Lord God. We give you all the praise in the name of your precious Son, Jesus. Amen, Father. If you like this message, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, also like and share. If you know of anyone that needs to hear a message like this, maybe they're depressed, maybe they're anxious or fearful, maybe they're struggling with a situation in their lives, send them a gift today, the gift of hope, the gift of encouragement. Thank you for listening to my messages. Have a blessed day.